Sam visited the Mughal Gardens in Delhi. He is describing the Mughal Gardens to his mother. Read the description and answer the questions that follow. The Mughal Gardens in Delhi are situated in the Rashtrapati Bhavan complex. Rashtrapati Bhavan is the official residence of the President of India. Do you know that there are 340 rooms in the Rashtrapati Bhavan? The Mughal Gardens were designed by Sir Edwin Lutyens for Lady Harding. He also designed many other buildings in New Delhi, including the India Gate. The design of Mughal Gardens is based on a combination of the Mughal and British architecture. These gardens are open for public viewing only once a year in the month of March. There are many different flowers in these gardens. The garden theme for 2009 was roses. There were about 125 varieties of roses of various colors, such as red, white, yellow and an unusual blue and green rose. It was a treat to the eyes. Added to this, there were tulips, dahlias, Asiatic lilies and other seasonal flowers. It was like a riot of colors. The Mughal gardens are spread over an area of 13 acres. They are divided into four parts. The main garden has two channels of water and six fountains that form the shape of a lotus flower. The reflection of the Rashtrapati Bhavan in the water channels is a beautiful sight. The terrace garden consists of two gardens on both sides of the main gate. One of these is higher than the other. The Parda garden or long garden is an exclusive rose garden. We saw a variety of roses there. The circular garden is also known as the butterfly garden because many different types of butterflies flutter in it. We can also see some of the best bonsai collections here. A recent addition to the gardens is the herbal garden with various herbs from different countries. When Tina woke, woke up this When Tina woke up this morning, she saw that it was past 7 a.m. She dressed up quickly and rushed to school. Why are you late today, Tina? I forgot to set the alarm last night, miss. This is the second time this week. You've forgotten to set the alarm. I apologize, miss. But after dinner, I feel drowsy and fall asleep without setting the alarm. Tina, you need to remember often to set the alarm when you finish your homework. Otherwise, you will be late to school. I don't want to be late to school. But how can I remember to set the alarm, miss? Write a note saying, set the alarm clock and stick it above your study table. Whenever you look at the note, set the alarm clock. Soon, you will be able to get up without the help of the alarm clock. Time asks time how much time time has. Time answers time that time has as much time as time has. Hey! Look what we have found in the city library. It's an old book on time. How interesting! The book has a chapter on telling the time without a clock. But some words are missing. Can you fill in the missing words? The power wordies have sent you a postcard. Describe it to your friend.